Hello, it is another unboxing and today it is the July Fairy Loo. So if you don't want to see what's inside, stop watching now because I am opening it. Okay, so the theme for July is Resilient Royals. Um, I really like this artwork. Like, it's, I like that. So the first item is an art print that is absolutely stunning. So this is Vajja and Morozko from the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. Oh, just look at them. They are just amazing. This is definitely 100% going on my artwork display in my room because it's hmm gorgeous. So the next item is a candle and I got really excited because I have never seen anything for this book series before in a book box. So this is from the Ash Princess trilogy which I still need to read Ember Queen. Um, this smells of black currant tea and it just smells so good. Mm, like there's no sparkles or anything, it's just a plain candle but oh it smells so good and it can go here underneath my trilogy. The next item is absolutely gorgeous. So it is this double sided cushion cover which is inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas, which I still have not read. And it says, through love, all is possible. And yeah, I am really, really needing to actually read that book. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> the next item came in this little pouch and it is a pouch. So this is a little card holder and the design is inspired by the Queen's Rising. The Queen's Rising. <laughs> and this is really nice. I really like this. This is so handy as well, like these sort of things. The next item came in a little pouch with the fairy loot stamp. I love these little, these little pouches. So this is a set of magnetic bookmarks inspired by Woven in Moonlight, which I still haven't read. Um, these are really cute. I especially love, love the little sloth. It's so cute. I like these. And the next item is this adorable little tray. It's so cute. So it says, one should never save cake for later when it can be eaten now. And that's from Winter by Marissa Meyer. And yeah, this is just a really cute little tray. I've never seen something like this in a in a book box before it's brilliant i love it and then the tarot cards are <sighs> they're dark shade of magic themed and i was really hoping for rye and alucard but i was half right it's rye and holland i'm i think that's holland um so yeah hmm hmm um, but Riot is looking fine. Um, so yeah. And then we have the bookmark of the month. Fairy scoop. The artwork for the book with the author letter on the other side. I really like this artwork. Look at it. And the book is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. This is a really nice cover and hmm, I love it. It's got black sprayed edges and of course it's signed but then the naked cover i don't know if you can see that embossed and then there's that but i just i love this like that is gorgeous but the original cover for this is actually supposed to be blue so i'm sure fairy loot know me like because green but I am going to read the blurb. The kingdom of Helendi is in trouble. It's losing the war at its borders and rumors of a new deadlier threat have surfaced. Princess Genesara 
knows her skills on the battlefield would make her an asset and wants to help, but her father has other plans. Second born heir to the throne, Jenna lacks the firstborn's, her older brother's, magical abilities, so the king promises her hand in marriage to the, the prince of neighbouring Churia in exchange for resources Helendi needs. Jenna has no choice. She must leave behind everything she has ever known if she is to give her people a chance at peace. On the journey to reach her betrothed and her new home, the royal caravan is ambushed and Jenna realises the rumours were wrong. The new threat is worse than anyone imagined. Now Jenna must decide if revealing a dangerous secret is worth the cost before it's too late for her and for her entire kingdom. That sounds good. On the back, it's got my world was tipping, my shattered life scattering like glass across ice. How was I to find my place in a new land when I couldn't find a place among my own people? How would I keep my secret hidden while under the scrutiny of an entire kingdom? Ooh, that sounds really good. I think my favourite item has to be either the Bear and the Nightingale art print or the candle because both of those books you like never get anything in book boxes for and they're so so pretty so yeah so that was my July fairy loot unboxing um as always I will put the names of the shops and the artists who contributed to the items in this box in the description box below and if you liked this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time bye